Hi everyone, welcome back to Far High. Today's strain of the day is from Breakwater Dispensary and it is cool and it is called Kush 10. So before jumping into it, I have to say there was not that much information um, on this strain when looking for said information. So the information that I am giving you is from mmpdirectory.com and wikileaf.com. So jumping right into it, the THC is 20.93 and the CBD is 0.062. It comes from a crossing of West Coast Dog and Hindu Kush. At least that's what WikiLeaf says about X Kush, assuming those are the same strains. On mmpdirectory.com, it's a mystery where this strain comes from. So if you guys know, let me know. But I literally looked. I could not find Kush X, Kush 10, or X Kush. So continuing on. It's going to have a sweet pine and sour aroma. WikiLeaf says we could also get a hash and lemon flavor. The high is supposed to make you energized. That makes your mind wander. So you could be exploring your thoughts for a couple hours. It's a good evening and night strain. It's said to like put you out. So take that what you will. This strain is an easy strain to grow. It stretches up to at least two times its height and it takes about seven to nine weeks for flowering. The desired effects are that you're relaxed, creative, sleepy, euphoric, energized, and focused. And what it relieves is depression, insomnia, pain, anxiety, loss of appetite, and nausea. And the negatives are dry eyes and dry mouth. Like I said, there's not that much information, but whatever information I do find, Put it here and obviously I'll keep updating my website. If you guys don't already know, I do have my own website, www.bar-high.com. Make sure you jump on there. I have all like my recipes. Well, I'm trying to get all my recipes up there. I'm putting all my reviews up there and all stuff like that and all the events and subscription boxes that I've done. You can guys check that out there. But anyway, enough of that blabbering nonsense. It's flower time. Mm -hmm. So, um, please look. The flower right here, Kush 10. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, only because I think I, I definitely like breakwater a lot. The thing is, it's very far. It's hard for me to get to all the time, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I stick with Harmony, even though they're having some issues currently, and all the dispensaries here don't really have any flowers, so what's a girl gonna do? So, let's open this, all the information over here, and do, do, do. Hmm. okay, I feel like the description's pretty accurate, hashy lemon. Yeah, I would say hashy lemon is definitely accurate. So I'm gonna show it to you in this old bit beautiful hippie butler bo box. Hippie butler rolling tray. Pop it over. Okay. So Kush 10. So, um, nothing really to write home about. There's no super huge nugs, unfortunately. They're not super small. You have a good, sorry, a good variation of small and big ones, but not like huge ones. This is, I think, this one. It's probably the biggest one. So, you can see where I'm going with this. So, I see these are more on the lighter side with scattered orange hairs and some trachomas. Yeah, very light 
green nugs though. Out of the container it smells more hashy. Very light hints of lemon. So what I'm going to do is, you know, it's my second favorite part, is I'm going to grind up my smallest nugs and then I'm going to smoke for you. And what I'll be smoking it in is, I have so many pieces right now, I'm going to try and make sure I at least get all of them on the channel. So this is um, September's Daily High Club's glass piece. Um, I literally just, no, <laughs> I did just put out this video, but when I put this video out, it'll probably be a couple weeks. So, this is the September Daily unboxing that I did. So I will be smoking out of this. This is the one that glows in the dark. I did post a picture on my last video. It has to be in the sun for a couple hours, so I'm trying to keep it out here. And maybe like later on tonight, I'm getting my time snap. But let me grind it up and smoke for you. Please out. I packed my little thing. You can see where it's there. Right. And then I have my hemp wick. You guys don't have to yell at me anymore. I found it. So uh, I'm just going to put my hair out because I don't want um, it to catch on fire. There is a lot of it here. Or at least out of my face. Not so much up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. My hemp wick. And this. probably good for like these kind of videos but like if you were to like sesh with a friend it'd probably be done in like four turns probably I'll let you know later so I'm gonna do it again I know I said I have a lot of glass pieces but difficult to like get it started but once it's there <coughs> it's pretty good <coughs> I have like this oh thing right here in my back that's why I need to smoke let's do well more and hopefully this subsides enough so I can continue pretty good too it's not like hashy gross that I would assume it would be because it's not that way but it's not too bad so that has been Kush 10 make sure you hit that like comment subscribe and check out my website bye <laughs>